I'm Bradley P. Bollier, and my latest book is The Dragons of Deepwood Fen, the opening of a new epic fantasy series that features ancient mysteries, fallen gods, political intrigue, not to mention a bit of backstabbing in a Roman-style empire, and dragons. Lots and lots of dragons. If you're a fan of Game of Thrones, Robin Hobb, Joe Abercrombie, I think this will be right up your alley. The main protagonists are Lorelai Aurelius and Rylan Holbrook. Lorelai is from the mountain city of Ancris, and she's an inquisitor who works for the Empire. She's a bit quirky, Lorelai. She has a near photographic memory, she's very smart and inquisitive, intuitive, but she's also agoraphobic, and she's kind of clumsy in social situations, which presents all kinds of problems for her along the way. Rylan, meanwhile, is the bastard son of the Imperator of the Holt, a vassal state to the Empire, and the Holt is largely comprised of a giant Amazon-style forest. And Rylan is many things. He's a dragon singer by day. He works with dragons, soothes them, helps heal them, helps train them at times. But he's also a thief. He believes that the Empire has waged a long war against the people of the Kin who largely live in the Holt, and he wants to repatriate some of the things that he feels the Empire has stolen from them. Lorelai's dogged determination and Rylan's sneaky ways meet in spectacular fashion when they both try to uncover the same mystery, namely why Eric, the leader of a group of freedom fighters known as the Red Knives, decides to meet with the Hissing Man, the head of a religious cult known as the Chosen. The Red Knives come from the Deepwood Fens, and they have always been enemies of the Chosen, and vice versa. So why are the two suddenly making nice? The answer, our heroes soon learn, may have dire consequences. As Lorelai digs deeper, Rylan becomes the subject of her investigations. But even as their game of cat and mouse begins in earnest, both see that Lorelai's home city of Ancris is under threat, and that what they do next will have massive implications on the Empire, the Holt, and the world. In the end, Dragons is about empire and the unforeseen cost of power, both to those who seek it and those it's used against. Rylan, a thief from the Holt who led a privileged life, and Lorelai, a smart young woman in a place of power, felt like the perfect characters to explore these facets of the story. I can't wait for you to meet them.